Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I have this super cute um, fall papers that I'm going to make a little folio out of, and I wanted to show you how I'm going to do it. These papers are by My Porch Prints, and I have the junk journal kit that's called Almost Autumn, and I just love the colors. The papers have been looking at it for a while, and I finally got it for myself, so I'm making some fun things with it. These are just a few of the papers, and then I also bought their 3D pumpkin um, little pop-up kit. It is so stinking cute, and I've done this like with flowers and hearts and other things before, but I just loved these pumpkins, so I got that, and I'm going to show you how to put that together. They have videos and instructions on how to do it, but I just thought it would be fun since that's what I'm doing today um, for us to do one together really quick. So first, why don't we show you how I plan to do this little folio? So this is a page in the kit and I printed it and then I printed one of the other papers on the back, cut it out, folded it in half. But if you're using other papers, you know, whatever papers you want to use to do something similar, this is 10 inches by seven and a half, just to give you that perspective. So when it's folded in half, uh, that's five and a quarter, okay? Um, did I say 10 inches? Why would it be five and a quarter? Hold on. 10 and a quarter inches. So it is five and one eighth. Okay, close enough. Uh, folded in half. And then I printed it just on kind of my go-to card stock. So then I took another sheet, and this was just a, a whole sheet that I then cut to the size that I need just to layer in here. And I'm just going to glue it down. I'm not making pockets. You could, you know, you can make pockets like I do some of my other folios. But just to give it a little more thickness and to have that pretty pattern. So I'm just going to glue it down. And again, this is optional. You don't have to, and if you're using like scrapbook paper or something like that, you may may just like, you know, if it's double-sided, you might, you might like the pattern on that side. Um, but I just cut this paper to be about a quarter inch smaller all the way around so that then when I layer it, there's just a little bit of a border. And I guess I could have skipped printing on this side since I'm adding these layers because it's almost to the edge, maybe with some inking, but that's up to you. I, I kind of like knowing that it's not the, the white, white showing through you. All right, so I'm just gonna glue these down and I'm just using my Line Co brand PVA glue, wet white glue. A glue stick would work well for this, but use whatever glue you want. If you wanna see some of the things that I craft with, my Amazon storefront is linked in the description for you. Um, and it is an associate's uh, affiliate link. And so I will get a few pennies from Amazon if you end up making a purchase, but it's no cost to you. Okay, so now we have some nice thickness. Aren't those hydrangeas gorgeous? Okay, and then there was another page that had these two pieces that I went ahead and printed. Again, more hydrangeas and this gorgeous pumpkin. And then printed on the other side. And I thought what I wanted to do was kind of layer this on here. So this will pop open and then later I may put a pocket or put one of the pretty tags or something there. And then have this piece and I'm trying to just I'm trying to decide how I want to attach it. I could glue this down and make this a pocket and then have that a fold out. But then I also thought about using some of my washi tape, which I left over here. Let me grab it. Where did I put my washi tape? Here's my washi tape. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna use this washi tape that I have by IB IB and I can put a link for you um, if you want, and a coupon code if you want or need some new washi tape. I have that too. Okay, which one would look pretty? I'm trying to decide, because these are kind of these fall colors. This one's a little bit wider, but I still think it might look good. Whoa, doesn't want to peel up. Gotta get it started. Let's see. Yeah, I think the, 
these colors will be okay. I kind of like a torn edge, so I'm just gonna tear a little piece off, figure out how wide I need it, or how long, I guess, is the better word. And I'm gonna use a little glue. So I have this lined up where I want it on the front, holding it steady, and I'm gonna just add some glue so the washi tape will not come up. And go ahead and stick this down. And I probably extended the glue out further than, than, than my piece of washi tape, but that's okay. All right. And later, if I wanna layer something else on there, I can, but that's gonna hold this in for me. So now I have this fun flap on the front. And in case, again, you're using your own papers, let me give you a measurement for this. This piece was seven and a quarter by five. So that's what it looks like layered on. All right. And then I want to do this pumpkin in here. And this one I am going to glue this portion down. And I think I'm going to leave it open on the side. So if we want to have a, a tuck spot or something in there, we can. I'm gonna come off of the center because, before we glue this down, let me show you. We're gonna put our pumpkin, <laughs> we're gonna put him right in here. And I wanna make sure there's plenty of room for everything to fit in here and work together. So then when you get to here, we'll then open it up. This will be attached and we'll have this lovely pop-up feature. So before we, we do all of that, let's set this aside and put our pumpkin together because I want to show you how to do that. And um, Then, then we'll attach it into our folio. So there were three pages in this kit, two pumpkins to a page, and I just cut them all out. And I've already done a little bit of inking, but what you're gonna do is take each pumpkin and you're gonna fold it in half. And if you were pretty careful when you cut it, for the most part, you, you're gonna just be able to line up all the edges and it's gonna fold in half for you, okay? just like that. And you're ultimately gonna want all of them folded in half um, with the pattern to the inside. I like to fold things back and forth anyway to make sure, things like this to make sure everything's gonna move nicely. So fold it whichever, whichever way first, but I'm gonna do all of these. Now you don't have to use all of these in your pop-up, and you could, of course, use these for other things, too. They're really cute. I was thinking they would be really fun, the size of them, to make a uh, a name, a place card. Place card. Um, like, if you're for your Thanksgiving meal or something, it would be fun. Like, I could have all my kids' names. You know, I could write them and glue them on there and have a little pumpkin name card. I thought that would be cute. I hadn't really thought about it. I wonder if... I've only thought about using this flat in the journal, but if we glued those two together, you know, he might be, he might stand up like a little, little 3D kind of pumpkin. That's a fun idea too, to be a table decoration. Wouldn't that be cute? Maybe we'll glue that one together like that after we make this one and put it in our folio. Who knows? I just, um, I'm really enjoying my Christmas crafts. You guys know I've been making quite a few videos here lately using the Christmas papers and everything, but still in a fall kind of mood. So now, so that that's why I decided it was time to just treat myself to this kit. I think the first thing we want to do, like I, I did kind of the uh, one of the really light orange pumpkins, a blue pumpkin, an orange, kind of a green, an orange, and a blue, just so that the colors were mixed up together. And I want to make sure I do the same thing this time. So I'm going to pick one of the orange pumpkins. And again, you want to make sure you folded these as neatly as you can. And then all you have to do is add glue 
to, once you fold it in half like this, add glue to one half like that. I probably don't need that much glue. All right, that was an orange pumpkin, so we'll do a blue pumpkin next. And you're gonna fold it in half and then just lay this one as neatly as you can right on top of that one. Just like that. And that's your first little fold. And then we're gonna repeat the process. So that's a blue pumpkin. So we'll do one of the orange ones next because there's three, they're not the exact same color of orange or peach, but there are three that are kind of a peachy color, two that are blue and one that's like a light green. So again, fold it in half, lay it on top neatly. And you're going to see how well you did, you know, cutting your pumpkins out. Um, and if you need to, you can go back and trim, trim and, and even it up just a little bit. I had to do that on my first one that I did and it only took a moment. So don't get discouraged. All right, that was orange. Okay, we're going to do green next. Um, you know, don't get discouraged if yours isn't exactly perfect. Your scissors can help fix that. Nice, nice and held down. All right, that was green. So now we're gonna do orange and then blue. All right. And again, you can put yours, if you are if you decide to get this kit and do these, you can do them in any order you want. I love these little pop-up projects. And there's other ones you can find in different Etsy shops. Um, like I said, flowers, hearts, other shapes. So um, like I said, I've done one of these before, like stars but I've never had the pumpkins and I just really decided I needed them in my life. All right. And this is gonna be a great little fall folio or to add into a larger fall journal, something like that. And just a lot of fun, I think. All right. So he is now or she, is all glued together. And now these two flaps that we have right here, this is what we're gonna glue down onto this page right here. And I'm gonna try to get it in the center, and I wanna glue this onto here first before I add it to my folio, because I think I'm gonna need to go a little to the right of center to get the thickness in here to work. All right. So I want this entire pumpkin glued down. And this is actually, you know, two halves that, you know, that where they've been glued together, right? So we've got the little orange one here and a blue one here. Okay, it's exciting. Y'all have to let me know if you like this, um, these little pop-ups too. I think it's so fun. I am just, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm just using where the fold line in half is to line it up with where I inked on this crease line. And hopefully, I've done a good job. I'm just gonna burnish that down. My finger and my bone folder, be really careful. Do my best to get it pushed down. On that layer. Oh, so cute. Look at him, there he goes. Now this one I didn't go back and trim any, and you can always add a little more ink too if you feel like it needs to, but I think I did a pretty good job on that one. And now I'm just folding it in half. Now you could also sew one of these in, I think. Um, you would still need to glue these flaps down because the white would show. I guess you could print something on the other side and then just sew it in maybe. But I think that looks really cute. And I could even, you know, put like little gratitude sayings or little quotes or something in there if I wanted to. This just by itself is cute. That would be like a cute little card. Okay, let's see my design because this is the first time I've made one of these. I'm having fun with it, but I wanna make sure, I think, like I said, I think I need to come over, that's probably like an eighth of an inch, just that little bit. And I wanna make sure 
this is the opening. Like I said, I'm gonna make a tuck spot under here, but I do want to make sure that this gets glued down really well. So I'm just gonna add glue to the three sides. And if I'm worried about it being a little flimsy, I may decide to forego the tuck spot. I'll let you know what my thoughts are after this. we get this down, okay? So again, I'm eyeballing it, kind of centered. It's a little to the top, that's okay. And about an eighth of an inch from the score, the fold line, the center. And I have left this open. There's all kinds of cute little pieces of ephemera that I haven't cut out in tags in this kit, but I'll be able to use one of these tags or something from the kit in this little pocket. Look how cute. All right, I'm really happy. Let's see how it closes up. Oh, look, closed up, no problem. No problem. There's a cute pumpkin on the back. So I'm definitely gonna keep going with this. Um, my glue <laughs> where I put my washi tape in the glue I didn't get it wiped off good enough but that's okay um I think it turned out super cute I'm going to make some tags I'm probably going to add some type of pocket or panel here and some little tuck spots or pockets here decorate the front with some ribbon and lace so i may just do a quick reel or short or something to show you guys what this looks like when i'm done if you'd like to see more ideas using this kit or what i end up doing with the folio leave me a comment and let me know um oh here real quick let's glue this pumpkin together <laughs> all right this one was the first one i did and it is a little bit off but I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna add glue just to one half so that I can kind of fiddle with it and get it lined up. And let's see if when we glue this together, if this will be a good like little table decoration. If so, I think I'm gonna make quite a few of these and use them as table decorations at Thanksgiving. Urgh. Or if we have like a little people over for dinner or something. I also have my gratitude journal workshop coming up. And I could, like I said, I could add some of the affirmations or quotes to, to this and then set this on the little table. Maybe I'll do that. Put it on the tables of the workshop, maybe. We'll see if I have time. <laughs> it's sneaking up on me. The date is coming soon. So, all right, I think that's close enough. To being lined up. I can add a little more ink if I want to. All right, let's see how this did. Oh yeah, super cute. Look at that. And then if somebody wants to pick it up, if you have some words or something on there, but it's cute just like it is. I can see putting some kind of little bow or something up at the top too. Anyway, I hope on camera you guys can see how cute that is. All right. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys joining me. Have a great day.